<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Night in the Woods. My name is Weasel, and it's time to get some shot eye before we uh, go and explore these three clues we had, which was the graveyard, the uh, historical society, and also Wheatley's here. Are you gonna bite me again? You just, you just came over. You just noticed, like, oh, it's, we're just, you know, starting, so I better fly over. But before we do any of this, we have to do another horror dream sequence. Yay! Jump down to your death! It's gonna- oh, there's a fish. There's a giant fish floating around. Why is there a fish floating? You know what? I don't need to know why there's a fish floating around. I will just believe that there's a- there's a guy floating around as well. Well, talk about this being weird, but I found the first one, the, the the trombone player, if that is a trombone. Okay, up here we go. We got some sideways houses. Man, I am losing my mind. Okay, uh, I'm not getting any light, so I'm not getting a tip where I have to go. So I'll just... Yeah, we, we still get triple jump in, in sleep mode. I must have uh, seen that wrong the last time. Just gotta get the timing right. Alright, let's find the other ones. Nice, that worked out. There's the next one. Yeah, giant, weird, spooky ghost fish. I guess that's always good. Why not? Go with the, go with the ghost fish. Freaks you out that I do the intro live? Yeah, I guess I can see that. Okay, wow, this is... This is interesting. Okay, there's another fox with a pipe. What is it with the fox and the pipe? You know what? I don't need to know. I, I'll, I'll trust that this is all fine, except uh, including the floating things. They're all good. Floating shadows. When endowed. Ooh, a coffee sounds like a really good idea. I haven't had a coffee in a while. But I could make myself a nice coffee. I shall do that. Alright, up we go. Uh, no tip where the next instrument is. So I have to find it by myself. There it is. Haha! -ha! The saxophone! Sweet! Okay, this is an end. So we're gonna go and walk over to the left. Mm, nope. Okay, cool. I'm falling down. I'm missing one more. Maybe to the left somewhere? I mean, I'm hoping to the left somewhere. Giant fish! Fill the fish. Okay, damn it. There's a dead end. Hmm. Hey, game, you want to tell me where the thing is? Because I got that one. Hmm. Well, that's awkward. Oh, cool. I found this thing. And I get an info now to the upper left. This is where I need to go. I guess because I got closer to it or so? Wanna say that's it? I just wanna believe there is logic to the madness! Found it. Nice. Okay. Now that we have the last one, I can uh, finish this dream sequence, which is probably gonna be super creepy. So creepy. Yes. Okay, so where was... the thing in the middle? I think this is the end. Okay, we found the end again. Damn it, I forgot where this was. It's usually always somewhere on the floor. And I saw it earlier, but right now I don't remember, so I'm feeling kinda kinda silly about this. Let's 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 assume it's on the floor again. I just missed it the last time. Yeah, it's it's you, Trombone Bear. My favorite superhero of them all. Uh, it's not here. Okay, it must be higher up, and I just missed out on it. So be it. Ah, I think I see it. It's giving- game is giving me a hint. Thank you, game. You're the best. Such good game. Best game. I really appreciate when the game, like, realize, okay, he doesn't know where to go. Let's give him, like, a really subtle hint. If he looks for it, he will see it, but it's not super distracting, and it's not- Here's a big waypoint telling you exactly what to do, which makes you feel a little really silly. So is it on this floor? Yes, there it is. Found it! Neato. Ah, oh, that's not good. Oh, that's a, like a stork? Bird? I wonder what it all means! 
I wonder what it all means. Uh, yes, my controller can't keep quiet. That's creepy foreboding music. What's what's with the music? Oh, we're good. This is loading music. Man, you should really see a therapist about, you know, all those horrible nightmares you have. Maybe. I guess you're already seeing a therapist, so I'll, I'll take it back. Hey, Mom! Are you there, Mom? Hello, Mom. Hi. Hello. Morning, sunshine! You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, huh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than the 10 hours or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? We went to the library with Bea. That sounds nice. It was. Weird. Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out to the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Aw, so nice. Where are you going, Wheatley? What are, what, are, what are your plans? What are you planning? What? Can I help you? You want to maybe step up from there? Step up, Wheatley. Come on. You can't sit on my microphone like this. Step up. Step up. Come on, step up. I tried. I tried to reason with him. I had to bring the Pepto-Bismol bottle. Which freaked him out because it was probably pink. Alright. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna try to let him step up too many times because eventually he will bite. Because he doesn't want to do it. Good times, and then I get the wounds on the finger from the bite. Such good, a good bite. Good, but good times. I guess I'm going to Bea to go to the graveyard. I mean, that would be the start, and then to Angus, and then to Greg. Bea, Bea, I'm coming. That raccoon always walks the same path every single time. And there you go, market store. All right, let's go graveyard hunting. Hey, Bea. Hey, May. I think I'm gonna burp this place down. Oh, burn. <laughs> I'm gonna burp it down. I like that. Burp it all down! Isn't that a beautiful title for an episode? But also, maybe it might have consequences. We could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're going to burn this place down for me. Oh, cool. But also, maybe I'd go to jail? No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. Show work's not going well. Ugh. Poor Bea. Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Yeah, let's do it. I guess you did the, the, the order you do it. Doesn't matter because I probably could have done it with Greg. Uh, I could have gone to Angus and do the thing. Um, and check out the individual places. So I just picked this one first. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year round. Well, that's a little, a little spooky for a graveyard if you go in a graveyard like this and everything's foggy. That's, that, that's a little freaky, isn't it? By the power of the burp, I shall demolish the city. Indeed. Well, there's a statue. Oh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So, we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost shows up? This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm, I'm a long fellow, right? Cool. I guess we're waiting. No any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like monumentally screwed right now, and no one in power gives a shit, or they're actively making it worse out of spite or profit. Whoa, jeez. I mean, like, a skeleton or something. Oh, right, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something, and you make it spookier. All right. How about this? Um, a skeleton outside your window. Um, a regular stranger person outside your window. He's frowning. And he's your landlord. That's not... 
You're late on rent, and you can't pay, and he's there to evict you. Jeez, bear. And he's like, headless. Headless landlord. Brutally beheaded, now wandering the earth. I friggin' wish. <laughs> All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scary stuff is like, really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What are we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb, let's go. And then it happens, as we walk away. Ooh, what are the red, red lights there? Creepy, creepy creepster. I'm gonna visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give you a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back there then. Let's check out a grave or three. I bet I'm going to see... Uh, I bet I'm going to see some spooky stuff. And she's not going to be around to see it too because she looks at her mom's grave. Alright, I'm gonna, gonna let her do her thing. Or can I talk to her? Hey. Hey. Is this is? Yep. Oh. Yep. Awkward silence. I'm gonna walk away and it seems like it got fog here. Just keep going, Weasel. It'll be fine. I bet I'm gonna see something spoopy now. And nobody's gonna believe me. Because reasons. Oh, what's that? Rose, aged 95 years. Yeah, let's let's look at it. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. Can't really be sad about this. 95 years, wow. When she was born, the most high-tech thing was horses. She had to look out the window to see a horse, and now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like, any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. I would probably agree with this. Alright, what's this? 14 years old, Ah. Catherine Fish. Hmm. Aw, oh, dang. Lived like 14 years. That's not enough time. Poor family. Okay, I'm just sad now. That happens. Okay, let's look for another gravestone that I can look at. Probably this one. Brad Boyson. And there is a bike. I don't know why, but it's there. Oh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess... He crashed his bike, he was hit by a bike, he loved his bike. He loved it so hard, he smooched it. So right. Jeez, Bea, how long does a mom visit take? TikTok beer trees, we've got places to be. Wow! Yeah, holy crap, I'm a jerk. Yep, you are. You are a jerk indeed. Now we're gonna see a ghost and Beatrice isn't there. Man, that's, that's really rude. Hi. Hey. Uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Where are you worried that? You know, have you been having sinkhole problems in town? Yep. That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill, so I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make these weird... These where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, they shouldn't build towns that flood, and yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there... I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And like, voices. Huh, that's... spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going up on there. Let's go find out! You coming? Oh yeah, sure. I guess we can- Oh, actually we can walk up the hill. Well, let's find out what's going on with the music and the voices. That does sound creepy, you know? Oh my. It's getting red and dark. Okay, yeah, this is... Ho, oh, wary travelers, you seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. Who the hell are you? More messengers, mere messengers, observers, meddlers, teens, they're weird teens. Oh. So, alright, well, we are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We're govern who shall pass, and who shall remain. Alright, well, answer us these questions truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, 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 fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? Done it? You can just call it sex. We are grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer. Yes. It was fantastic. Really? Uh, no, I'm very much lying. Okay. And you? 
Yeah. What? When? Somewhere before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Uh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do like math stuff and camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex? It wasn't good. Top notch math though. <laughs> this is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't want to ask something like spooky at least. Dream date. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dressed cool, really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. Like, you're gonna wrestle or watch something? Oh, I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl, but they have to be like, grrr, because I don't even want to date someone who's not grrr. So you're gonna wrestle this person. Yeah, that'd be super tough and cool, and we'd all be tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet. I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer. One time I farted in front of the class. Ha. <laughs> that's it? What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. No you. Ah, uh, God. One time in junior high, one time in high school, one time in college. Let's do one time in college. One time in college, one time at college, there was this cute girl I saw at the cafeteria. Ooh. Like a few weeks at a time. I guess our schedule is lined up or something. Which is weird about college. It's like a little town. Cut to the chase. Jeez. Okay, so I got the nerve to talk to her and I followed her out into the hallway. And I don't know why, but I shouted, Hey! And she turned around and 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 and, and I could do was wave. Oof. This is funny. And 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 then I turned around and tried to walk away all cool, but I ran into this door frame right behind me and it hurt and I staggered back and then fell into the trash can outside the cafeteria and my face went into the trash spaghetti. Holy shit, dude. Continue. And I like flail until the trash tipped over and I got up and the girl had, had she, she'd watched all of it and I tried to give her a smile like I, I'd somehow meant to do that, but it turns out I'd swallowed some of the trash spaghetti and then, and then I puked all over myself. Holy shit. No wonder you came home. Oh, shut up. <laughs> wow, that, that, that's messed up. I'm, I'm going to throw up. Thanks for nothing. You have come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hand all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. Ha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> oh. Hey Andrew, how's it going? Alright, I, I guess that was it. That was the creepy stuff on the hill. So like, ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but yeah. So you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But like, did you ever see my mom? No. I mean, I can't really tell. And I don't think the ghosts were like, people. Like, they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like, echoes. Echoes of shit that happened and people that were here. Oh. Trust me, no one of the places looked like super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang out there. Ha, <laughs> that's like, I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. Alright, anyway. So the bad news is that we're locked out. By that big ass gate. Ugh, why make a gate in a graveyard? To keep people like you out and stop what you're probably gonna do? Mm, yeah, we'll never know for sure. Alright, while I'm not climbing it, go do your thing. My thing? Yeah, you're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost, I'm just a driver. Fine, hang out. I'll be back. I'm gonna kick down a graveyard door! That's gonna be awesome. Oh, I'm just probably jumping on the houses and then. Come on, Weasel, you got this. Pro platforming right here. Sweet. Okay, now I'm on the other side. And I guess I can't open the gate from the other side? I'm, I'm gonna try, but I don't think so. Nope. I'm gonna have to do my thing on my own. So, so be it. I will see ghosts and again, no one will believe me. There's no way I'm going to leave Bea behind. Ugh, Beatrice, just learn to jump. Not with those crony legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? Oh, yeah, right. Ooh, a good question. That's actually an excellent question. 
Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea, guys. I'm gonna jump on that branch. <laughs> Excellent. That looked like a hurt. Ha! Huh. I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Mm-hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see, I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So, what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna find a little Joe's grave, and if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock it. Until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever. Let's go. I'm not... Unbelievable. I'm not allowed to destroy graves. I, ca I can't believe this. I can't believe you're not letting me do this. Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. Ground's here all swampy. Ugh, gross. So what do we do here? Um, I guess just gonna look around for ghosts. Don't make this a thing. It's not a thing, it's cool. May, I'm here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Alright. Oh, I guess I'm gonna look around. What's this? Any ghosts over there? Nope, Bea. You'd know. I'd say. <laughs> okay. Mm, what about here? I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. Yeah, that's not really helpful. And you found a grave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's uh well, it's appearing. There's red dots floating around everywhere, so I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna have a look here. This grave is for a horse, I think. I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. Just imagine. I guess I'm going to go back and hope that something pops up. Because so far, no ghosts to see. Right, Bea? What, what now? This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash his shit up. Uh, hello dude, hold up, no. Wakey wakey little Joe. Hi, Joe. You wanna wake up maybe? Oh, uh, that didn't sound right. Ah, oh, there you go. And it's a sinkhole. Good, good riddance. Holy shit. Holy shit. What did you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that? Yep, that's a coffin. Oh, crap. So, we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not gonna open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. But yeah, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. We got a Mr. Miranda situation going on here. Gee, Scott, we're not going to do this. We are leaving. Aren't you kind of curious, at least? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Oh my. I'm opening a grave. A uh, coffin, I mean. I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, I guess I'm gonna grab this there. And pull it to the side. Oh my. Ugh. Ah! <laughs> well, it's... It's a corpse. So what? Foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. So there's someone back there watching us. Oh god. I don't know where they went. Just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know, but we need to leave now. Could be the ghost. No, we're gone now. Okay, fine. Jeez. Alright, and we're running. Oh, it's this thing. Yeah, it's this, 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 this thing that kidnapped the kid. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know that the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine, but he was there. Hey, it was the groundkeeper or something investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. <laughs> I saw the effing ghost. We saw someone. There are other people in the grave for it, you know. Eh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Yeah, I, I can I can see that that being a good idea. But yeah, we got got Mr. Creepy Guy here going on. And we're back home. Fantastic. Let's talk to Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. With the twitchy ear. Jeez, I'm sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. 
I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job doesn't require much like that. Yeah. Well, glad we had that talk. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. And I'm gonna go to bed, and we're gonna continue in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.